sickness. Good for Utah's Ali Monson explains what that is. Doctors here at Intermountain Medical Center in Murray define altitude sickness as the inability to get enough oxygen into the body. They say while rare, the condition can become so severe it turns fatal. Headache, nausea, uh, a restless sleep, fatigue. It starts with simple symptoms you'd feel with the flu, but if early warning signs of acute mountain sickness go untreated, Dr. Colin Grissom says they can soon spiral out of control. If a person becomes confused, that is uh, an indication of swelling in the brain. If they can't walk right, uh, if they come, become confused, they need to go down immediately. Boy Scouts say that's what their troop was trying to do last weekend when their friend suddenly collapsed. I'm still in shock. I'm still confused. It's like it like keeps hitting me over and over like man he's really gone friends say douglas julian who would have turned 18 sunday had no previously known existing conditions which is why responders are now pointing to altitude sickness as a possible cause of death friends say he was experiencing symptoms for a couple of days before passing away in the high you mountains they couldn't believe it. I was in shock for like five, ten minutes. Now, as loved ones struggle to understand how it happened, Grissom is weighing in and warning Utahns they're at risk too. That is uh, probably pretty common in people who live in Salt Lake City who might go on a backpacking trip into the Uintas and uh, if, they, if they live and sleep at 4,500 feet and then they, uh, the next night they're up at 10,500 feet. He says the biggest mistake people make is not turning around before it's too late. High altitude pulmonary edema is when the lungs fill up with uh, fluid. The other uh, major serious life-threatening altitude illness is high altitude cerebral edema. That's where the brain fills with fluid. And then uh, um, <clears throat> patients can die from uh, uh, having brain swelling. That was Ali Monson reporting. Doctors say mild symptoms will go away after moving to a lower altitude. They urge people with severe symptoms to seek help immediately because altitude sickness can be treated. Local